if you're in any kind of local business, uh, like a service business, any business that relies on uh, getting business from customers in a certain geographical area, um, you want to be visible in what are called the Google business listings. So these are, this, this is these guys here. Um, the first thing that comes up when people search for, let's say, an accountant or a plumber um, or uh, a hairdresser or a beauty therapist are these Google business listings here. And it's really important to be in that top three, the, the, the three pack, if you like, because these guys get or 90 or 95 percent of all the phone calls and visits to the website. So, for example, hardly anyone goes down here into more places. Um, so those three there get most of the phone calls. These guys here have to share the, the dregs, the, the, uh, the crumbs, if you like. So it's really important to be up in this area here. And one of the uh, key ways to help yourself get up into that area is to make sure that your photographs, uh, the pictures that you've got in your Google business listing have been optimised properly so or set up properly. So um, I'll go through that process and show you how we do that. Just to give you an idea of the effect of being up here, um, this is one of our uh, one of our uh, clients and one of our members. Uh, this is another one here. Um, this is uh, uh, this is uh, really important to 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 see the the difference here. So if we go into the back end of these listings, uh, I'll show you what happens. Uh, here's one. Uh, a hairdressing salon in suburb of Melbourne called Berwick. You can see here all of those photos. All of those photos have been properly optimised. Now, that's not all there is to it. Um, there's lots of aspects of optimising a listing uh, to get into the top three, but photos is one of them, and it probably accounts to 10, for 10 or 15% of the effect of getting up into that uh, top three. But if you go into the insights of, of that particular listing, and you can see here the effect of being in the top three. That business in the last month has had 230 phone calls just from people finding that listing uh, on Google and clicking on the click to call button on their phone. So it's really important to be there. Um, here's another example, uh, that one there, Escape Beauty. Um, we have a look at their insights and come down to where are we where are we uh insights there we are we go down to insights and have a look at the response they've had um 850 visits to the website um people requesting directions 87 um phone calls 181 and look at the difference down here um, their photos have been viewed 103,000 times uh, in the last month compared with competitive businesses, just 11,000 um, uh, views of, phone call, of uh, photos. So it's really important to make sure that these listings are set up just as much, with just as much care as you would, would set up uh, your own big website. So I'll just take you through the process of optimising the photos so that it gives you the best possible chance. Okay, so first of all, let's start with uh, some photos that just happen to be sitting on your computer, and I've just chosen three random ones, uh, put them into a, a folder called Test Picks. So each one of these photos has to be optimized so that Google has a better chance of showing people these photos when they search for whatever you're selling. So the process we go through is we optimize them with what are called meta tags and geo tags. So if you select all of those photos, I'm just gonna do this uh, all of them at once because it's the same process for doing them individually. If you select those photos and right click, it'll open up a, a whole list of options. And what you wanna do is go down here into properties. And that'll show you the properties of each of these pictures. Now, because I've got three chosen, um, it'll ask for multiple values. So the first thing we wanna make sure is that 
the uh, title of the pictures matches what you think people might be searching for. So in this case, um, the pictures about anti-aging. So I'm going to type in here anti-aging um, and probably I might even put in a, a location. So I might put in uh, Hobart. And what I want to do there is just select that, copy it, and also make it the subject of the uh, image. Then I want to put some tags in. These are called meta tags. Uh, and these also help Google find what people are looking for. So I'd put uh, anti-aging, um, I'd add uh, uh, anti-wrinkle, um, I might put um, serum, I might put skin serum. Um, that will do for the time being. You can put as many in there as you like, but three or four, half a dozen is usually enough. Now in the comments, what we want to put in here is the full name, address and phone number of the business that these photos belong to. So in this case, we're just going to add that from uh, the business's contact details. So I'll just copy and paste it from uh, the website and you just hit enter on that. And so then down here under author, you want to put the web address of the business. So the web address goes in there like that. And then you apply that to all of those pictures. Okay, so that's the first step. Then the next step is what we call geolocating or geotagging those images. And for that, we use uh, a program called GeoSetter. There are lots of programs you can use, but we just happen to use GeoSetter. So what we want to do is we want to select all of those again and right click on them. And what we do here is we, we've got GeoSetter set up here. So we, we go to browse that and it will open up those pictures in GeoSetter. Um, wait for that to load for a second. So there are those pictures set up in GeoSetter. What I want to do now is grab the address of that business and put it down here in the search bar. So I just copy it into there. I do a search and it's found Hobart, right? So that business is in the middle of Hobart and I want to apply that those GPS locations, that, that geo data to those images. So I just apply it and I save those images with that geo data applied to them. This is really important because people search for things near me and on their phone, their phone has a GPS uh, signal in it chip in it and uh, Google knows where the phone is and it will throw up uh, what, what people are searching for within a geographical location. So if we go back into those, uh, that folder where your pictures are, there are all those pictures now with that geolocated data in them. And you can see that by going back into the details of the picture and scrolling down and there's the geo data, the, the latitude and longitude in those pictures. So now you've got those pictures with all of the data in them. You can now delete the originals, get rid of those, and those pictures are now ready to upload to your Google business listing or your website or wherever else you want to use them. Remember, of course, that it's really important to have these pictures optimised not just for your Google business listing, but for your website as well. So I uh, hope that's been helpful. And um, if uh, you need any more help with that, uh, just get in touch. I'm more than happy to talk you through it on the phone or, or on a, a video call.